a re welcome to <clears throat> excuse me a re welcome to uh, re other tormented fathers. I have very little idea what this game is. I am the Blues Thirty Two, by the way. I am sure you already knew that, but it's supposed to be part of the beginning spiel. So yeah, as far as I know, I think this was supposed to be a uh, a remake of Clock Tower, but they either changed their minds or there's copyright problems or something. You know how it is. Good, very good. Metronome. I don't know who this lady is, but she seems very upset and kind of getting rained on. So yeah, this is just... Is it all true? I don't know, possibly. What have you heard already? That illness. It thickened the bones. It accelerated the healing process and tissue regeneration. Is that all true? Every word. But if that's what it was doing, why call it an illness? The Lepidopterans made a nest out of the human body, where they could eat and multiply. An illness is what it is. But then? Where do you want me to start? From the beginning. Ah, oh, that's probably the best place. Uh, I'm old, Mr. Manny. My memory is not one of my strong points. Well, for example, why do they call you Madame Svenska? A name is just a trace. It is our business card, our identifier. It presents us to the world. But does it tell our story or really Pretty describe sure I hugely. I swear I know three or four idiots with the same exact name. <laughs> well, yes, but we are not made of that name. It is given to us. Other people choose it for us, whether it suits us or not. It doesn't tell us who we really are. That name will not give us any answers. It is only through growing old that we become the answer to the questions of our childhood. And living in Sweden the last 30 years is uh, so <clears throat> inspired this affection. When uh, this cutscene is over, I will so stop the video and uh, it is. review the... Why? Uh, because I forgot the footage. But I also forgot that I had promised to remember. Tell me. Please excuse me. <clears throat> Sometimes right. my anyway, um... used to be jogged. There's always been a song that, as well as the name you refer to, <laughs> the has labeled. Uh, yeah, check the audio balance. That's what I was trying to get to. Given it a name, and it's from a name. If you can believe how bizarre and sometimes unbelievable my confused memories are to describe that all this began. Say 
Sentencing. Lost child, Celise Felton. From the video that I saw while perched in this game off of a PSN, it tells that there's going to be a lot of chasing. And, you know, running for your life. I wish they would make a remake of Clock Tower. So long since I've been chased by a giant pair of scissors. Is that the same old lady? Well, not old lady. I can't read that. It's in Italian, I believe. Introductory statements. Uh, previous cutscenes case. I want to hurry that up, lady. Something's gonna rain. No one wants to smoke a cigarette in the rain. Butterflies are involved. It's it gonna rain again. It, did the thunder give that away, love? Okay, now we're in control, so I'll pause it and have a quick listen, so I'll be right back. Okay, I think we're good? Maybe? I don't know. I've never been the best judge of this sort of thing. Is there a way to examine? Cannot do it now. Do what now? I cannot do it now. Last Thursday, October 14th, 1971. Missing since 4 p.m. at recreation grounds in Sbacad. Date of birth, February 8th, 1958. Female, white, 13 years. Light blonde hair, blue eyes. At last, wearing a white dress with bows. White shoes and tressed hair. Ursons. Any information are requested to call seven four. Seriously, which way am I supposed to go? This way?
I actually picked the right way. I always feel anxious when looking at some icons, icons and mirrors. I went the right way. Well, I'll be darned. Who is it? Yes, hello. I'm Dr. Reed from the Santa Margarita Institute. I'm sorry, but Mr. Felton is no longer a patient. I know. This is why I'm here. Hello? Uh, anyone? Well, it's unlocked. Surely... Well... If there's an intercom system, surely the, uh... There's like a button to lock it from inside. Right? You know, I'm guessing this is sometime in like the 80, not 80s, mid 70s. So I don't know what technology is avail available at the time. Wandering around inside the person's property. Hopefully I won't get arrested. Why can't I do it now? Still look like that? I mean, it looks like there's been damage done to the neck, but nothing along in the body, so it looks like it's supposed to it's supposed to have been armless. Or mostly armless. Property shouldn't be here. Okay, good, I don't seem to get tired. It is odd considering that she smokes. Adorable. Definitely anguishing. I don't... I don't understand what that means. I mean, it doesn't look like the child is in any sort of anguish. Looks like she's just playing hide-and-seek. Are, are you the one that's in anguish? Please for to clarify. No, I feel I... <sighs> what 
What is wrong with you? Yes. Good evening, Miss am... Reed. You already told me at the intercom, and as I already told you, Mr. Felton is no longer a patient at the Center of the I Institute. Know. I came here voluntarily, outside the Institute. So what do you want? I am personally re-examining your case. Causes, reagents. I strongly believe there are alternative ways and probably other experiments that are worth a try. I am fighting with the Institute to recognize there are other adequate remedies for your husband's oh, pathology. Oh, no, please. I I'm just assisting him. I'm his nurse. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, it's okay. I suppose you want to talk to him. I apologize for the darkness, but Mr. Felton's sight has been damaged and immensely compromised because of the disease. Anyway, I am Gloria. Oh, and please, refrain from smoking inside. Mr. Felton hates the smell of smoke. Sorry. Does he now? I can't help but notice that there was more than one cigarette in, in, in that cigarette tray. Please, this way. Your rival. Smoking? Yes, such a shame. You should quit. You have no idea how bad this is for you. Not only for your health, but it's also very expensive. Money and time wasted. I have so much to do every day, I couldn't waste time with such a bad habit. Do you assist Mr. Felton all day? Oh no, from midday to 8 p.m. Then I go back home. I live near here. If needed, he can contact me with a pager, but that's not often. His wife takes care of him when I'm off. What can you tell me about her? I met her just a couple of times. She's usually out or locked in her bedroom when I'm here. Let's say they don't seem to get along. I didn't know. But you know, when she's home, she listens to the same music, the same song. Over and over. I, I kind of want to run, but I feel like that'd be rude. There's one thing I'm not. It's rude. This way, please. You sons of bitch. No, I'm sorry. Mr. Felton will be here in a few minutes. Okay. What an expansive place. No, I don't want to go through his desk. That's rude. Coronation of a virgin. Young girl gazes into the sky above the st stunned eyes. Excuse me. And a light hits her. Something out of place. From the dark sky, that threatening storm is her descending. The hideous hands of strange creatures. This picture makes me feel uncomfortable. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I, did, I didn't notice it. Yeah, yeah, there, there are little hands in the sky. Well, not little hands. Giant hands, actually, but... There it is. Way up in the corner! Medusa's decapitated head, if I'm not mistaken? Hmm. This projector... Where 
Where is he projected to? I thought he was here, but that's a map. I'm probably looking at looking at things as clues for all the wrong reasons, you know? What's this? Tales of Horror. This is rude. <clears throat> Mr. and Mrs. Fenton's farm, Rosglow, closes. Danger of contamination. Why am I in the Felton's indicate in, indicated for alleged criminal is that indicated or indicted? I don't know. For criminal activity against consumers and product, production employees. October second, nineteen seventy one, the Ross Gallo farm, pride of the Gallos, closed due to suspected contamination. It's been reported that many products have been infected by toxic pollen that could be the cause of severe parasitosis. Oh dear. The owner, excuse me, uh, Arania Gallo, top right, her husband, and the, the notary Richard Fenton, bottom right, professor and company's partner Albert. Elias Wyman, large picture, are under investigation. The latter has been allegedly accused by Felton himself of having used the company to carry out pharmaceutical experiments, taking advantage of corporate funds at his will. Indeed, the warning came from the residents at the company's headquarters, the Ashmans, who managed the building and supervised the harvesters, the sisters of the adjoining uh, convent photo. Among the reported symptoms, painful ulcers, vomiting, proliferation of parasites, and in some cases, karyatosis photosensitivity. Following the heavy allegations, both the Feltons and the Ashmans received numerous threats from Wyman himself, who has been removed from the Order of Physicians today. Wyman today was Stated he was shocked by the charges and appointed his figure to the, his former, excuse me, former business partner, Richard Felton. He personally funded me. It's worth noticing that Felton himself, like his father, promoted and funded the Phenoxyl Project, a drug for which Wyman himself was nominated for the prestigious medicine award in 1957, but that was retired from the market a few years later due to the disastrous side effects. Meanwhile, even at Felton's house, which was used as a dis product distribution, the activity ceases. As a result of the scandal, excuse me, I keep yawning. I beg, beg your pardon. The Ashmans and Feltons also broke off any kind of relationship. As a matter of fact, the Ashmans claimed a s substantial refund for the damage they suffered because even their children have been infected and, as consequence, used as unaware test subjects. The authorities assume that the contamination has developed from the groundwater, not only used for the irrigation of nearby plantations, but also as a common source for the Ashmans and the Twelve Sisters of the nearby monastery. Nunny. You damn son of a bitch. See what they write about me on the news? You wanted to tarnish me, but I'll get back at you. Oh, I surely will. Starting with your daughter. Do you believe she doesn't know who her father is? I'm sure he would be glad to know that she is his daughter. Show you got so got balls. Take your own responsibility. When I'm what am I saying? Balls? You never got balls. God, miss. Um. It would be too easy, wouldn't it? I believe in people's willpower. Everything else is not God, but an aptitude or mankind's cruelty. This is the kind of fairy tale I prefer at my age. When you're worn out from an incurable disease, you start having some doubts. Why is there so much life in such small but lethal creatures? 
An arbiter. That's all we need. What? It's wrong and crazy. It's human nature. That same nature in which we are equals to those ants eating each other. But pardon me, I forgot my manners. Please sit down. Dr. Reed, I suppose. Uh, sorry, Mr. Felton. Pleased to meet you. So you already met Gloria? Yes, she let me in. She's a great reference, extremely hardworking, but back to us. I don't recall seeing beautiful doctors like you at the Institute, Dr. Reed. Uh, I am flattered, Mr. Felton. I arrived at the Institute just a few months after you left. And you left because... Inadequacy of the sanitary treatments within the structure. That's right. And in a few words? In a few words. They didn't know how to treat my case, and they left me there to die. But it seems that other issues took over. I once or twice refused to go through exams. Mr. Felton, is there anything I can do for you? Oh, Gloria. Yes, see if Dr. Reed needs anything. Oh, no. May I offer you a cup of tea or coffee? Espresso? No, thank you. As you wish. How about you, Mr. Felton? No, thank you. I'll keep entertaining our guest. You can go now. Okay. You're diagnosed? 1958? Yes, indicatively. Some friends and I contracted the disease while traveling to Egypt, and it got worse. In addition to the disease, the first exam showed some inconsistency. Some hormonal deficiency? Overdose of non-prescribed drugs, opiates? Anoxone? Wasn't it recalled in the mid-60s? Doctor, don't you think that nowadays there are ways to obtain drugs without any prescription? Uh, I believe <sighs> so. According to your file, you still receive your disability pension. Even better, it seems that the beneficiary is your wife, Ariana Gala. Exactly. She's the one who takes care of me when Gloria is off. How about your daughter? My daughter? Celeste has never come back home. Disappeared. She was adopted, am I right? Mm. The investigators confirmed that she intentionally left. They never suspected a kidnapping since there was no ransom request. How about Weeman? Wasn't he a suspect? A flash in the pan, an idiot who brought confusion by sending warnings and threats. And her birth parents? Dr. Reed, young girls often decide to just go. And this is what my daughter decided to do with... Jennifer. What did you say? At times, you'd call her Jennifer. No, my Mr. daughter... Mr. Felton, what has really happened to your daughter? I just told How you! How about the off-the-record version? I am not sure where you're trying to go with this, but I won't tolerate... I don't have the strength for this now! I know you've been trying to forget her, but this picture might help you to... What is this? Where did you get this picture? Isn't she your daughter? Celeste, or has you called her? Jennifer? I asked you a question. The back of the picture says Jennifer. There is no Jennifer! You thought I was stupid, didn't you, Mr. Felton? Do you... Do you really think I'd come here without knowing what I'm Who talking about? Who are you, and why did you come here? Did you come to my home to threaten me with your condescending Threatening tone? you? So maybe I should ask your wife, then. She's not home. Seems like she is. Mr. Felton, I just talked to the director of the Institute on the phone. They have never heard of Dr. Reed. She is not what she claims to be. Well, Miss Reed, if that is your real name, your time here has ended. Please, leave my property. Miss Gloria will escort you out. Please follow me. Mr. Felton, please, tell me what you did to your daughter. Good evening. Follow me. Okay. You know the way. How do you even... How do I do what? How do you even sleep at night? You use people's lives regardless of the pain you cause. The Feltons have been through a lot. And they are good people. Gloria, a young girl disappeared. We all know the story, unfortunately. A burden that the Feltons will have to carry for the rest of their lives. Celeste just left them. If that was the case, there was a motivation behind it. And it threatened her life. OK. 
Kitoki. I'm very confused. Really? Really? This is where we're going with this, huh? your interest with this lady? Didn't she have a badge? Where did you get the badge? Uh, yes, I would like to save my progress and never have to do that again. Look for the mirrors with the metronome. From now on, you can save your game only by using those. Okay, flashlight. Some areas of the fence may turn really dark. It may be difficult to find your bearings. Press the flashlight switch to light your, up your way. But remember, Turn it off if you do not want to stick out. Okay, well, we're gonna end this video here. And the Blues 32, this is Remothered, Tormented Fathers. TTFN, ta-ta for now.